All right, Tommy Coward here from Growing Green Lawn Care Company on the lawn with you and on the course. And we're on a field trip today here at Bryan Park in Greensboro, North Carolina. This is the championship course. There's two courses and I want to show you their, this is their practice green. It's about a 10,000 square foot green here that has just recently, within the last two weeks, been sprigged with a new Bermuda grass. This is called Mini Verde, and it was sprigged. They're going to convert over from bent grass to Bermuda grass. If you see the collar going around, they're actually going to um, saw that with probably a 419 Bermuda and then keep it cut, like sliced in with an edger around the base. But this is a new ultra dwarf Bermuda grass cultivar which is really can tolerate a low low mowing height and you're seeing a lot of the golf courses in North Carolina and in the south and even on up uh, into parts of Virginia and Maryland that are either converting over to Bermuda tees uh, greens fairways just for the the durability the playability uh, these grasses, Bermuda grass, is a lot less susceptible to a lot of diseases. So they'll be cutting down on the fungicide budget. Um, they will be covering these greens in the winter time with a cover. It's not too cumbersome. They'll have, this one's kind of a big one. It might actually be a two-part cover. But uh, they'll be moving that off of the green every day. Um, basically, what they did to establish this was they fumigated the uh, entire green area with methyl bromide and killed off just about everything from weeds, insects, nematodes, anything that might have possibly been there. This looks like a little low spot here. Uh, the next step was fortifying the soil. Um, they cut in a lot of like 80-20 um, uh, compost with sand and uh, they did that. Uh, there was a top dressing material. They sprigged it, hand sprigged these, uh, disked them in, disked the sprigs in after hand spreading the sprigs. Uh, then they uh, rolled them and they're watering once an hour for four minutes. Um, they've been doing, they have not had to do much of that lately and we haven't had much sun. So they've just dosed these up with uh, some gibberellin, some amino acids, probably some humic acids, some other fertility to get them moving. But probably within the next two to three weeks, these should be grown completely in. And if you can see those little guys, they are very, very small. They have a nice prostrate growth habit. And it just makes a wonderful putting surface. So just wanted to share that with you. Tommy Cowett on the lawn with Growing Green. I hope everybody's having a great day. Have a good one. Signing out.